Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you're having fun getting ready for Christmas. It's coming up in a week. Um, anyway, so today I am, even though it's Sunday, I am doing the open collaboration called Hashtag Flip Through Friday. This is sponsored by Christina at Christina Shack and I will put the link to her channel below. And if you want to participate, you can just let Christina know and she will add you to her list. Uh, most people do post on Friday, but you can really post on any other day. And the reason I don't post on Fridays is because I already have a collaboration. I do on Fridays and I don't want to put two uh, videos out on one day. So what I'm flipping through today is my very first ever December daily. It was nine years ago. Um, it was from 2013. And uh, I, as you can see, I put a lot of foof on the side here. I love this. This was not stuff from packages or anything. When I made the journal, I actually put it on. Now the bell on the cord was from a package that I got, but I don't do this anymore. I don't put stuff on the side unless I, I get it, you know, during the month of December from packages or whatever. But I like the look, and I, I don't know. I may go back to it next year. We'll see. So the actual cover, this is one year that I did not use the Reader's Digest uh, condensed book covers. This one I actually made myself, and it is made from cardboard that I covered with paper. Now this one has some vintage... Christmas wrap underneath and then this is this top piece here is from or an ornament box a vintage ornament box So you can peek through and see the Christmas paper behind it and I always put the year on the uh, on my December daily so that I know uh, Which year it is so this is how I made the cover the back is just a piece of cardboard that is covered with vintage Christmas wrap Okay, and on the inside, I covered it with paper here because it would have just been the piece of cardboard and I needed to make it a little more uh, sturdy. So I put some um, scrapbook car uh, cardstock b beneath here. And here's a pocket that I made. And it looks like it's from a ch uh, children's book and I wrote here Dasher Dancer Comet Cupid I don't know if that's who they are but I just wrote that on there and I've got a little pocket here this was day one I do my December dailies are in chronological order and I do do 31 days the all 31 days of December so here is where I journaled what I did on the back of that in this little pocket and then this is just a page from a children's book, a vintage children's book. And look how sweet that is. And I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but I did go ahead and put a little bit of silver glitter on it to make it shiny like there's snow on the little kids. Okay, so this here, um, let's see here's day two. There's the date right here. Now in a lot of mine, I don't use the same numbering system. I mean, I do number every day, but... Um, like this one, I stamped a giant one, and on this one, it's a little two. Uh, I might cut out three or whatever. I don't use the same numbers. This is the first year, 2022, that I actually have the same numbering system for every day. Um, so this is uh, a pocket here that I made out of a envelope, and I just put washi tape on the front and back to make it a little sturdier to lift it up, and this is just a little tag here. Um, from something that I bought and my journaling's up here and then this is just a piece from a cardboard box from vintage cards it says 21 new shape cards and I just thought that was a fun flip so here's day number three here and see okay so this three I used the sticker and I have this pretty card here with this stamp of these little deer here. And I think I need to put this down here. Um, I must not have done anything on the third that I, that I journaled about because I don't see any writing, which is fine. You know, if you don't, you know, we don't do 
necessarily do great things all the month of December. And some people might say, well, my life isn't that interesting that I could do a December daily. So just make a little collage like this. Just glue something down, you know, make a collage. Or you can uh, print off, there's lists you can ch check on Pinterest for December daily prompts. Maybe you make a, make a list of your favorite Christmas movies or your favorite Christmas songs or your favorite Christmas cookies or whatever. It doesn't have to be, you know, something spectacular that you've done because, you know, I'm not going to fill my book with I did laundry today and, you know, did grocery shopping because that's real life. You know, we do do more in December than we do um, other times of the year, but every day is, I mean, unless maybe some people do have 31 fantastic days, I don't, <laughs> okay? I live in the real world. Okay, so this here is a vintage card right here, and I had a lot of these, so this little card actually shows up in several of my December dailies. Isn't that cute? Look at the little cat. So here's day four, and I just had a piece of ledger paper on the back here, and this is what I I um, did my journaling on, and then I have another piece from an old box. This is a piece from an old, um, I guess I'm assuming that's an ornament box or something. A lot of vintage stuff in this one. This is day five, and all I did here was used a bingo card, and for the numbering, I just circled the number five from the bingo card. I had It just happened to work that way, and then I did the journaling on the back. And then here's day six. Again, I used a sticker for this one, and this down here is a... Um, I'm trying to see. This is a greeting card, I believe, right here, a vintage greeting card. And then I have a little vintage sticker of Santa up here. And then, okay, so this, okay, so this was made out of a manila folder, and there's something in there. Okay, it's just a little, <laughs> it's just a little piece of cardstock that has, um, it looks like black cardstock with, um, Christmas music on front, and then I, and then I stitched on top of it, and it says craft fail. Um, I should have used color stitching. Yeah, I used white stitching on this. You can't see it. You can only see it on the back side. So that was my craft fail. All right, so then we come over here. And then this is an envelope right here that I just have sideways. And again, I put the washi tape there so that it wouldn't um, uh, get weak from things going in and out. And... Um, I did a lot. This, this was my first December day. I actually did a lot of journaling in this. I do not do this much journaling in my December daily anymore. And this, okay, sorry. This was day seven. And see the tiny little sticker seven there? And then I wrote something here, and there's a vintage sticker. Can you see that back, back here? Or actually, it's a rub-on, I think. And then here's day eight, another vintage card with this cute little angel and these snowflakes. And then there's the journaling I did inside. Um, then here's day eight. Wow, I really did. I'm, I'm, I had, didn't pre-look over this while I'm flipping through this. And this is, you know, almost 10 years ago. So here's uh, nine. And it said snow day, so we must have had snow that day. And then here's day, and, or t day 10, another snow day, it says. So I have this little card of these donkeys in the snow. And if you've watched my channel any amount of time, you know I love donkeys. Look how cute that card is. Isn't that adorable? Oh, my goodness. All right, here's day 11. I guess this is still day 10 here. There's an envelope here, but there's nothing in it. But there's a lot of journaling on the envelope. Then this is day 11 here. This is a chipboard, like just a little chipboard piece of this little deer here. And then on the back, I have a piece of ledger paper, and then it, I did my journaling there, and there's just a sticker here, of a, like a Victorian sticker of a um, boy with a sleigh. And then here's an envelope. This is from a children's book here, this picture of the angel handing the little angel the horn. That's day 12, and you can see right here, 12. So this is a... Manila folder, uh, a manila envelope, like the office type envelope, folded in half because here's day 12 here, and I did my journaling, and there's a little, another picture from a little children's book, and then here's day 13 here, um, and it has a pocket. I wonder if I put anything in it. 
Oh, I did. Okay, let's see what's in there. Okay, a receipt from one of my favorite used bookstores um, called Riverby Books. Um, oh, okay, it was if my husband's stocking stuffer book that I purchased, and it says my new cat stamp, stamp from the thrift shop. Look, can you see? Right there. That looks like Holly, actually. That looks like my cat. So that's 13. Here's just a, this is not a old card, but it's a reproduction of an old card. And here's day 14, just some, this is a scrapbook paper that looks like the quilting. And I have a Victorian Santa there. And again, this looks like this is another, oh, this is the other side of that fold. No, it's not. I don't know. But here's the journaling inside. Good night, Helen. I, I was very verbose. Look at this. All this, I don't do this half as much anymore. Interesting. I just don't write that much anymore. I guess I thought I needed to when my when I first did my December dailies. <laughs> okay, so then here's a little paper sack. This little pink thing here is a paper sack and it's got some stickers on it of this little snowman skiing and some trees and it's got a little tag in here. That was a Sunday. It said I had a very peaceful Sunday. And that was the 15th, and I did some more journaling on the back. These are chipboard, this 15. So you don't have to have numbers that all match every day. Like I said, this year, 2022, is the first year my numbers have matched all the way through. So then this is the 16th here, and this is just a pretty card here. And then here's the a stamp 16, wrote here what I did. And then here is the 17th. Okay, so this is a paper sack. Yeah, it's a little paper sack. I glued the bottom, this bottom part, I glued it shut to make it a little um, pocket. And I have a word card in here that says ecstatic. And I did some journaling on the back. Um, Oh, okay, so on the back, my son was in school at the time, and he went to private school in the next town, but I always had to drive him back and forth until he was old enough to drive himself. It says, I am ecstatic that Adam doesn't have any exams today so we can stay in the town where we lived all day long. <laughs> so I didn't have to drive him to school that day. So, and then, oh, here's a, what is this? This is a card. This looks like a piece of a card. Oh, and I did some more journaling on the back, and look, I already got into the Christmas chocolate. I can tell that that is... Uh, does anyone else get into candy they bought for stockings way before Christmas? <laughs> Probably not, right? That does, You don't do that, right? When you get, get the goodies, you don't get into them. Okay, then here's the 18th. I have another card here. These are cardinals, um, the, the male and the female, and here's a feather from a cardinal. We, um, the cardinals are Virginia state bird where I live. And uh, in the winter time, they are absolutely everywhere. If you have a feeder out, you're gonna get tons of cardinals. Here's the 19th and, um, okay, that's still the 18th. Good night, I did so much journaling. Here's the 19th, it's a card with a cat on it that looks kind of like Holly. And then here's the journaling for the 19th on the back. I have this little picture here is the same as the front. You know, if you get greeting cards and you always look on the back, sometimes they repeat the picture smaller in the back. And so there's the small one that came from the back. And then I just had this little stamped and embossed um, package here that's popped up on Pop Dots. I, I think somebody might have gifted me that, or I don't know. I don't think I have that stamp, so somehow I got that, because that, I don't have that package stamp that I know of. And here's the 20th. It says, Cookie Recipe Inside. Oh, okay, so it's a pocket. And I wrote a... Uh, this is the journaling. It says cookie recipe. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay, there's more than one thing inside. Okay, that was just a card. Here's a cookie recipe that I made up because we had a cookie, uh, cookie baking uh, contest at church. 
everybody won, by the way. And I made up this recipe for white chocolate and peppermint cookies, and they were really good. And then here's the butter. This is the box from the fourth pound of butter I have used this Christ Christmas, and I'm not done yet. So why do I use so much butter? I make toffee and um, give it a, as gifts, gifts and stuff. So for each, each batch of toffee, I use half a pound. So... Um, I go through butter, and plus I do baking too. So this is the 20th with this. Again, this is not a vintage card. This this one is actually a reproduction of a vintage card. And then um, this, I'm not sure if that's the 21st. I have to see. Nope, that's still the 20th. Here's the 21st. It's a little pocket thing that I made sideways. Oh, no, it's a paper bag is what it is. Okay, it's a brown paper sack. And again, I fold it in two. So this first part is the 21st. And I've, I've cut out from a children's book or a book. It says, you will find the baby laying in the manger. And there's a picture of Mary with baby Jesus. Here's my journaling here. It's just on a piece of um, scrapbook paper. And that's in that side. And then uh, here's the 22nd. Oh, wow, it was 72 today, but we had snow earlier in the month. That's interesting. So here's my little journaling tag that I put. This is the bottom of the bag glued up. And then here's the other side of the bag. Here's the 23rd. And again, I just did some journaling on some cardstock and put it in there. And then here's a picture again from a, a book, Mary with Baby Jesus. Then here's the 24th, the night before Christmas. That came from a children's book, obviously. I used stickers again. And then here's the envelope here. Um, um, and that was just something from my sister that was in here. Oh, it was in a flower arrangement she sent us, yeah. And here's a tag right here. There's no journaling on that one. And then here's a, big, a page from a book from the night before Christmas. And then this is Christmas Day right here. So I wrote down all about Christmas Day here. And um, I always have, I've mentioned this before this year, for the, the nine years and going on the 10th year this year that I've done my December dailies, I always write down what I got for Christmas and who gave it to me. So I have all that written down um, here. And then here's just in this window, it's just a piece of wrapping paper my mother-in-law had given me. Here's a pretty little card here. That was the 26th. And look, I actually wrote the two and used a six sticker because I didn't have another two six sticker to match. I'd used them all up. Now, the 26th in my family is a big day because we do celebrate Boxing Day. My father's side is English. I was born in England. And so we celebrate Boxing Day. That's when the entire family gets together and we eat and play games and have fun. So that was all about that. And here's the 27th here. Now I made this pocket. This is a, I don't know, it was a roll of paper that had all these cutouts of like little houses. Like it was one huge strip. So I just cut a little piece and made a pocket out of it. This little tag here looks like it came from a Mary Engelbright book. It doesn't have her name on it, but I recognize that to be probably hers. And then here's the journaling. I just have a piece of, um, cardstock in there that I journaled on just like a little button thing here and then here is this the 28th we'll see 28th yeah so here's the 28th and I'm guessing that this is like a what do they call these um, money envelope coin envelopes a coin envelope that I covered with paper on both sides this brick paper I hung this Dresden uh, or put this Dresden wreath on one side and on this side it's got like a cutout from a coffee book uh, or a coffee book a coffee box or hot chocolate box and then in this little pouch here I have a Chaucer solid chocolate uh, this is from the bag of chocolates and then the 28th here's where I did the journaling on the back this is a piece of cardstock again covered with paper it's got this beautiful picture of the bird here. So obviously I was enjoying chocolates on the 28th. And, and it looks, when I open this up, it looks like one of those money envelopes. It's got that manila, manila color. 
we're getting there. Thanks for hanging in there. But this might give you some ideas, especially if you're new to, to December dailies. So this was a card here, this right here. And this is the 29th right here. And then here's a part of a Swiss Miss uh, caramel cream hot uh, package of hot chocolate. And then here's a card right here, the front piece of a greeting card. And then I put some... Um, scrapbooking paper on the back and and did my journaling on there because I a lot of these cards are reused and sometimes people write on both sides of the card so to cover it up I just put paper over it if I'm going to use it my mom gets a lot of greeting cards still and she gives them to me after Christmas and some of her people she only really communicates with once a year so they write a lot so to reuse the cards you have to cover the back unless you want the writing so here's this cute little thing this came from caramel cream something and it's this little deer thing so I just put him on like a little charm he must have been a gift tag oh here's another one up here yeah these two little things came off something caramel cream and then here's another bird, uh, cardinal card. This is the 30th. And this is a K and Company. I'm not sure if you can see, but he's actually popped up. He's layered. This little cardinal there was the 30th. And then this would be the 31st here, my last day. And I just did what I did here. And then here's a sticker. And then this is the inside of the back cover. And this is also vintage paper, but this is a different vintage paper here. And then down here, this is from a children's book. I just made it look like a little snowy village. And that's on top. And that's not a pocket. It's just glued on that way. So that's it. That was my very first December daily. Man, I did not know that I wrote so much. So I learned something because I do not write that much in mine anymore. Um, I'm just so busy and, and I have so many other projects. It could be that, you know, I was just really focusing on this. But you know how us journalists, uh, we, we have our glue books and our art journals and our December dailies and our this and that and everything going on. So we, we tend not to focus on one. I have a feeling that this was a year that I just really focused on this and this alone in the month of December. But either way is fine. It's fun just to have the memories and everything. So I hope you enjoyed that flip through of my very first December daily. And um, I hope that you are making one or, or keeping one because they are truly fun, especially to go back in years uh, in the future to go back and read what you did. Guys, I hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. That would be a great Christmas present to me so that I will be encouraged to keep making videos. And please don't forget to check out Christina's channel. Her link is below. And let her know if you'd like to play along or look at her on her videos. She has a list of all the other participants. So you will get to see flip throughs of all kinds of journals and all kinds of other books too. So guys, until the next video, I hope you're all truly blessed. Bye-bye.